Are you gonna let this girl do whatever she wants, lie to you, not text you back, not get back to you, clearly just show signs of disinterest and more importantly, seems like disrespect at that point? Are you gonna still let this girl be in your life? What's up, man? Patrick James here, and welcome to another episode of Raw Dating Advice. In this episode, I'm gonna be answering a question that was sent to us via email, but first, if you're not already subscribed to the Raw Dating Advice family, then hit that subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is turned on because we do upload every single Tuesday. And before I get to the question as well, if you want to see one of your questions answered in a future episode, then simply hit me up on Instagram. It's that simple. Now, that said, this one was sent to us by Darwin, and honestly, Darwin, if you're watching this, I was very surprised to see a question like this coming in from a man like you, who I also know is in Legendary Game, one of my coaching programs. But you are new, so I'll give you a pass this time. So he said, good morning, Patrick. I have a problem. The girl I've been dating for a few months lied to me, and I busted her at it. Now, my question to you is, what did she lie about? Did she lie about going out to get some ice cream with a friend when in reality she was at the strip club? Or did she lie to you about cheating on you? Like it depends on the severity of the lie because if it was a little white lie then um, I think you're probably already overreacting. Um, but let's move on. He said, you also said, she's one of the mean bitches that very seldom apologizes for doing wrong, but damn, I want her so bad. And she will not text me back because she is hard headed and I don't want to text her for the same reason. How can I get her to text me and want me more than any man alive? Wow. That is kind of intense. You want her to want you more than any man alive. My question to you, um, honestly has to be why, why? So, in your few sentences, you basically said, there's a girl who lied to you. We don't know what she lied about. It could have been about the weather. She told you it was raining outside or she could have been hooking up with some other dude. I don't fucking know. You don't, didn't go into detail, but she lied to you. You called her a mean bitch. You said she doesn't like to apologize for things she does wrong. And you said she's not texting you back. And you want that girl to want you more than any man alive. Something's not adding up here, um, but I can probably guess that you probably want her to more than any woman alive right now because it almost feels like she's elusive, right? A lot of guys, especially high value competitive guys, guys who take action, we are drawn to the chase, right? That's the fun part. It's almost like once the chase is over, once we know that we have her in our grasp, we almost don't want her as much. And this is just human nature. It works both ways, men and women, because people want what they can't have. And if we feel like we can't have something, especially if we felt like we had it before, it's just like if I put a treat in my dog's mouth and the dog goes, oh, this is a really cool treat and then I take it out of his mouth, you think he's gonna want it still or no? Obviously, right? People want what we can't have. So it seems like this girl clearly doesn't want you. She clearly doesn't value being in your life and you're kind of getting knocked off your path right now and you're kind of like, you feel the urge to chase after her. Now, here's the thing, man. Have some standards for yourself right? Especially when this girl's already lied to you and she's already had a pattern of this uh, clearly, right? Especially when she's too stubborn to apologize for anything she does wrong, especially when she won't text you back anymore. And especially since you've literally only been dating her for like a few months, right? When, when this is a girl that you've been dating for two years, then ask me about this girl where things are kind of going south. But if you've been dating her for a few months, have some standards for yourself. One of the standards that I recommend, and this is just one of my own personal standards is like when I'm texting girls, approaching girls, meeting girls on a regular basis, if I'm asking a girl to hang out and for whatever reason she either ghosts me or says no to two of my invites two weeks in a row or however space between those invites are, if a girl says no to me twice in a row and then I never hang out with her before that or in between that, my personal standard is I'm moving on. There's too many girls in this world for me to slow down for, for me to deviate off my path for, for me to chase, especially when she's clearly not interested. Because here's the thing, man. You don't want to be the guy who's like, I want this girl more than anything and I want her to want me more than anything. You want to be, as I always say, the train who's leaving the station, not the train who's docked at the station and says, hey, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Whenever you want to hop on my ride, come on over here, right? You got to be the guy who's already on your path, who's already on the go. And if this girl is quality enough, if this girl actually is interested, she will qualify herself to you. She will do whatever it takes to come back into your life, right? In dating, this is a very common phrase, but and I, and I say it all the time, but the hungry do not get fed. And right now, if you did anything, any tactic that you did to try to get her back when she's already retreating away from 
you is only going to push her away even further because it's a tactic to get her back, right? So for you, the first thing I would say is have some standards for yourself. What are those standards for you? Are you going to tolerate disrespect from a girl? Are you going to let this girl do whatever she wants, lie to you, not text you back, not get back to you, clearly just show signs of disinterest and more importantly, seems like disrespect at that point? Are you going to still let this girl be in your life? Or are you going to say there is an abundance of other women out here just as good and obviously better, obviously, right? And then you're going to go after those, but more importantly, staying on your path as a man. Now, let me ask you this. What is your path? Do you have, have a path? Do you have a purpose? Do you have something you're working towards? What is your vo vocation? What is your passion? Are you striving to be the number one in the world at that? Are you striving to get better and better every single day? That's what I mean by staying on your path is having goals that don't, um, relate to this specific girl. And even if right now your path and your priority is to improve your game and become the best, most attractive version of yourself, that's great. But if this girl's name is Becky or Karen or where the fuck her, her name is, you shouldn't make Karen or Becky or whatever the fuck her name is your mission. Your mission should be for you. It should be self-driven. It should be self-motivated, right? So have some standards for yourself. And clearly, I I'm just telling you, if I were in your shoes, this girl breaks all my standards. And I'm telling myself, I am worth more than that. So I'm going to move on to some other girls who qualify themselves better to me in my life, who want to be a part of this amazing empire that I'm growing in my life. Do you see what I'm saying, man? So the second thing I want to tell you is when you can actually turn away from this girl, even though she's already retreating away from you, it seems like, but it almost seems like this girl, um, and I'm just reading into the situation based off the very short question you sent me, but it almost seems like um, this girl, uh, there might maybe still be something there between you guys, but the best way for you to actually find out is for you to train your abundance muscle. And what I mean by that is basically when you can sense that a girl is not living up to the standards of the women that you want in your life, when you can simply tell her no, when you reject her, when you're the one who consciously chooses that I'm going to move on to my other options because this option is not going the way uh, that I'm planning out, the way that I would like to, and more importantly, this girl is showing me a lot of disrespect so I'm not going to tolerate, tolerate that in my life. So I'm going to kind of move on with my life and go back to doing me, right? When you do that and you do it consciously, not as a emotional reaction to like, oh, fuck her. She didn't like me. Well, fuck her. I'm going to go off and do my own thing. Not like that, but like this girl is fucking up, right? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. So then you move on with your life and go back to doing you. That's going to train your abundance muscle. And more importantly, it's going to make you feel more confident and self-motivated and self-validated moving forward. And how attractive is that going to be for the next girl that you happen to, who happens to cross your path, the next girl you happen to be dating, right? It's going to be very attractive and it's going to help you attract a lot more higher quality women. So that's the first two things I would tell you to do is have some standards for yourself. Make these actual known standards. Like I said, one of mine is if a girl does says no to one of my invites twice in a row, then I'm going to stop inviting her out because I'm going to train my abundance muscle, which bring that's number two. And number three is GF Tau, not MG Tau, right? This whole men going their own way movement, but GF Tau, go fuck 10 other women, bro right? Go fuck 10 other women. If this one girl has got you tripped up, go sleep with 10 other women because I promise you by the, by the time you get done banging 10 other women, you will be a completely transformed man. You will be a better man and a more abundant man. And by that point, this girl will be way below your league. Even she probably already is right with the way this girl's already being. And the fact that you're a self investing action taking man, who's already on raw dating advice. I know you have potential, but right now you're about to make a giant mistake by chasing this girl who's already retreating away from you and is showing you a lot of signs of disrespect. Have some respect for yourself and when you do that and you go and actually develop the game that it requires for you to actually land 10 other women who are just as good if not better than her, then I promise you, you're going to have a much more happy and fulfilled life at that point. And when you come back to me at that point, then we can talk about maybe getting this girl back. But go fuck 10, ten other women first, all right? So that said, that is my raw dating advice to you. Like I said, if you're not already subscribed to the Raw Dating Advice family, then hit that subscribe button. And by the way, if you don't already have my book, 107 Proven Ways to Get the Girl, this is a physical book and I'm currently giving them away for free, but because it's physical, copies are limited. So to claim yours now, just go to howtogetthegirlnow.com. The link is also in the description below this video. So that said, I'm gonna get out of here, man. Peace out.